the Queen attended a church service in London's Islington on Wednesday. Attended Scripture Union's 150th anniversary service of celebration. Also in attendance was classical singer Catherine Jenkins who greeted the royal. The Queen was treated to a rather unusual performance during a church service on Wednesday. Her Majesty was attending Scripture Union's 150th anniversary service of celebration at St. Mary's Church in Islington. Guests, including Catherine Jenkins, were treated to a performance by the Artless Theatre Company, but while the congregation appeared to enjoy the amateur dramatics they failed to raise a smile with the royal. Actors could be seen in various costumes and juggling props before the monarch who stayed po-faced throughout. The royal was later pictured taking part in the hymns during this afternoon's service. Scripture Union, SU, is a Christian charity that invites children and young people to explore the religion. It is active in 120 countries worldwide. The first meeting was held in December 1867 close to where St. Mary's Church stands. While the weather outside may be frightful but Her Majesty was certainly looking delightful as she headed out on Wednesday. The Queen brightened up the frosty December morning in a bright purple coast as she headed to St. Mary's Church in Islington today. The 91-year-old monarch wore her staple coat and hat combination in an eye-popping pink featuring red accents in the form of plume in her millinery and in a matching skirt. The royal was greeted by Reverend Simon Harvey, vicar of St. Mary's, as she arrived at the church in central London today. Also there to welcome the Queen was the Lord Lieutenant of Greater London Mr. Kenneth Olisa, who presented in the Rev. Tim Hasty Smith, Scripture Union's National Director. Also attending the service on Wednesday was the opera singer Catherine Jenkins who looked chic in blue velvet. The classical singer wrapped up in a black wool coat and added a touch of glamour with a pair of heeled cord shoes. She joined other dignitaries to welcome Her Majesty as she arrived at the central London chapel. It has been a busy day for Her Majesty who welcomed guests to Buckingham Palace earlier on Wednesday. She welcomed Mr. Ami Mortada, the ambassador of the Lebanese Republic, as he presented his letter of credence with his wife, Mrs. Gamal Yehia, during a private audience at Buckingham Palace in central London.